Madam Toastmaster, dear colleagues, you need to move. You need to get off your chairs at work, you need to get off your couches at home and start moving. Not because the doctor tells you that it's healthy, not only because of that, but more than that will be for you to get all the benefit that your brain will get when you do that. Now I'll take you on a short stroll tonight, a short stroll through history and biology, and I will show you how it works, how little it requires to, for you to get magnificent benefits, and how badly you need it. Now, to understand why movement is so important for the brain, we need to go a bit back in history. I'm actually way back in history, and look at the last two millions of years of human evolution. Because throughout most of this time, our ancestors have been moving on average 20 kilometers a day, on foot. Some records indicate even that they may have been capable and sometimes moving by 80 to 100 kilometers on foot a day. This means that our bodies, and especially our brains, developed literally on the move. Now, how does the brain work? Well, it works basically, and I know she'll kill me, but it works basically like any other cell and set of cells in a body. It feeds on glucose. And you get the glucose from your food, from things you eat, obviously, and it's, turned, it's being turned into energy in a very violent process you may know as metabolism. Now, as any very high energy and violent process, Metabolism produces a lot of waste, toxic waste, this time in the form of free radicals, vulnerable You may have heard about them in Polish, in case you don't know the name. They're very bad for you. They damage cells, they're fully capable of causing DNA mutations. So it's pretty obvious that our bodies want to get rid of those radicals very, very quickly. And nature has its way, obviously. We have a whole circulatory system where blood circulates, distributes oxygen, throughout all the cells in the body. Oxygen binds with the free radicals, uh, creates carbon dioxide, and which we then exhale when we breathe. Okay? So far, so good. So here's the deal. Your brains use 20% of the energy that your body uses, and they weigh only 2%. Which means that they also produce the most toxic waste throughout your whole body, and that's why they need the most oxygen out of all the cells that you have. To, to picture how this, how this is important, look at this. You can survive around 30 days without food, you can survive around 5 days without water, but your brain will only survive around 5 minutes without oxygen. Then the damage becomes permanent. So when you move, obviously you start breathing faster and you get more oxygen throughout your body, but also when you move you strain your circulatory system which causes it to expand, and which causes it to produce more veins, new veins, and expand existing ones, so you get even more blood flow and even more oxygen throughout your body and to your brain. So what are the benefits? Well, the benefits are basically superb brain performance. Long-term memory. Can you hear that, Adam? Long-term memory improves. Reasoning, imagination, improvisation, all the things that you connect with so-called creative jobs, like designers, programmers, like managers who have to react to certain situations impromptu as well. And these jobs, well, paradoxically, yeah. these jobs paradoxically tend, to, you know, people in these jobs tend to move the least, while they are the ones who need movement the most. Now I know why this happens, everyone knows, we have no time and we have no cash for those super expensive gym cards, obviously. But you have to realize how much you really need of the movement, and you don't need much. You need around 20 minutes of walking a day, every day, only 20 minutes, to get the benefits. Here's what I do. Every day I go to work, so I get on the metro at the Natoni station, I get off the metro at the Vilanovska station, and from the Vilanovska station, I walk to the vicinity of Galeria Mokotov in the morning, and then back in the evening. The one-way trip takes me around 20 minutes, so if I don't do anything else that day in terms of physical movement, I get 40 minutes of walking and physical movement a day, and all the benefits connected to it. And you can do the same. You can walk to your work, providing you live close enough. 
Even if you take any form of public transportation, it doesn't really work that well with cars, but with public transportation, you take a tram, you can get off two stops earlier, and you can walk the distance. It doesn't hurt you. You can take the stairs when you have the option instead of taking the lift. If you need to contact your colleague in the same office, in the, just in the next room, don't call him on the company phone, walk to him or her. People do that in my office, I know how it looks. You can do what the Japanese do, they're a bit extreme with that, but they spend a lot of time sitting on the floor. Which means that if you want to do anything and reach for anything, you have to actually constantly get up, move somewhere, and then sit down again. Actually, the Japanese have even a way of moving on their knees while being in a low position. So, the important thing is, you don't stop. You have to keep moving, because this isn't just like getting in shape and then you can eat you a few donuts because they will not hurt you. If you stop moving, the benefits stop almost immediately. The blood flow and oxygen flow needs to be constant. So do you feel like moving already? You will have to bear with me a few more seconds. But I will just leave you with three things, takeaways, to remember. First, we evolved on the move 20 kilometers a day for two millions of years, and we're sitting only as a species for the last 50. Second, we are suffocating now our bodies, spending most of the time sitting, suffocating our bodies and suffocating our brains. And third, all it takes to undo this damage is to spend 20 minutes a day walking. And you can try that even today, on your way back from the Toastmasters meeting. Thank you very much. <laughs>